So in this video, we're gonna have a look on the means that are used in Hunter x Hunter. And we're gonna talk about what this means possibly evoke in the viewer. So this analysis will present every aspect in a twofold way. First, we look on what is presented to the audience. And second, what inner psychic dynamics it might trigger. Let's start. Number one, the children bonus. It is not rare that the protagonists of an anime are children, but usually the surrounding of the children heroes is same age. They move within their peer group, like in a school for example. Because everybody is the same age, the age is not an outstanding feature anymore. It is more normal if a 12 year old has to fight some super dangerous enemy when his 30 classmates have to do the same. The feeling is totally different when a 12 year old has to face the same dangers as a grown up, as it is in Hunter x Hunter. Already the introduction aims at that circumstance. Gon, the main character, is introduced by Mijo-san, the woman who raised him. She speaks about how worried she is because he wants to leave the village at such a young age to become a pro hunter. He is 12 at that point. Through that, the viewer gets a sense of danger and excitement. Why else is it a bonus that the protagonists are children? First, because of the distance to the character. When someone is introduced to a same-aged person, no matter if in real life or through media, one compares oneself with a person stronger than one would compare with someone of a different age group. One judges a same-aged harsher because he or she had the same generational circumstances as oneself had. The chances are higher that you dislike the person because you compare him or her to yourself. It is different with members of other age groups, particularly children. Through the young age, a distance to the character is created. Due to that distance, one does not compare oneself to the child so much. The policies of behavior and personality traits are different for children. A child's behavior is not as sharply judged. Chances are higher that you like the child even if he is behaving in ways that you would not. So making the character so young is actually a brilliant trick to evade critical judgment on them. The second advantage of the protagonist being so young is that children trigger instincts. It is a human instinct to protect children. Think of yourself when you face a child. You automatically feel put in a more responsible position or at least in a different position than when talking to a same age. It is an inbuilt mechanism that you want the child to learn something new and succeed. When the child learns something, you are especially proud on it. So because the audience automatically has a grown-up to child relationship with the protagonists, the viewer is extra thrilled and in agony with the characters. Number 3. The relationship between Gon and Kilo. Hunter x Hunter is undeniably successful because of the relationship between Gon and Kiloa. Let's have a closer look on what is so special about their relationship. Let's start doing that with a little thought experiment. Think of yourself as a child and then remember your childhood friends. How were these different from the ones you have as a grown-up? As children, we tend to connect faster and easier. The relationships we build are more innocent and unconditional. As a child, you can become friends with someone by just saying hi and then start playing together. When we get older, it becomes harder to connect because we are getting all kinds of social roles with the years. And these roles play a role with whom we connect. You wouldn't just say hi to someone who doesn't seem same-minded. Or, if you would, you probably do not consider him or her as your best friend immediately. But for children, a hi is basically all it takes to become friends. And this is exactly the case for Gon and Kiloa. They greet each other and from that moment on, they become inseparable. So, their relationship is a reminder on a pleasant experience everyone has made. This gives a sense of nostalgia which, again, creates a deeper connection to the story. Number 4. Personal growth through friendship. 
From the first arc on, moments are shown in which Kilua is observing Gon's behavior and seems irritated by it. He has a completely different personality, this is why he seems to not understand why Gon is behaving in certain ways. Afterwards, it is shown how Kilua's behavior gets influenced by Gon's bit by bit. Like, for example, he starts caring for people or he tries to not kill people anymore, and so on. A central element in deep friendship is that you perceive the actions and thoughts of your friend and afterwards find yourself adapting certain elements of his or her behavior into your own behavior or thoughts. This gives a person sense of growth and development. This is a very satisfying and nutrient element of friendship. This influence that Gon and Kilua have on each other is triggering the viewer's need for connection which again connects him even more to the anime. Number 5. Opposite Personalities Studies show that the deepest connections are built by solving problems together. Kiloa and Gon are quite the opposite of each other in their way of thought and behavior. When they are facing a problem, you see how Kiloa is analyzing everything. He acts very careful but clever. Gon, on the other hand, acts more fast and instinctive. He has a very honest and direct way. For example, you can just suggest to ask someone else for help. The viewer sees how their complementary personalities together produce the perfect outcome when solving problems, which gives a pleasant and satisfying feeling. So, by seeing them successfully solving problems together, the information that their friendship gets even deeper is sent to our subconsciousness. By that, the viewer's connection to the protagonist gets deeper as well. Number 6. The process of deepening a relationship. To get to know someone better and better is a satisfying experience that increases your interest in people and in life in general. When you go to someone's home the first time, see his room, his roommates or parents, and by that, understand his personality better. After the Heavens Arena arc, Kilua simply decides to come with Gon to visit his homeland and his family. This is a crucial point for the effect the anime has on the viewer. It is actually just the transition from one arc to the next, which is a critical moment in animes because it tends to be boring. But Hunter Hunter manages to give the transition meaning by deepening the relationship between Gon and Kilua even further. The atmosphere of these scenes is pleasant and intimate. There is this moment, for example, when Kilua and Gon speak about their future life plans beneath the night sky. Oh my god, I just died. When Kilua talks about not knowing what to do in life, this is a thing that everyone can relate to. Gon answers to that by saying that they could look for something Kiloa likes to do in life together. This is a thing that everybody, consciously or unconsciously, longs for. A friend who so purely cares for you. Which brings us to the next and last point. Number 7. The identification with Kiloa. Kiloa is not trusting his surroundings, he is bored by life and not having any sense or any clear motivations. These states of mind are typical for the nowadays society, especially in young people who are still looking for a space. So everyone can to some degree relate to Kilua. Gon, on the other hand, is optimistic, straightforward and bold. Personalities like Gon's are rare in our world, but they do exist. But unfortunately, people who are like Gon are perceived as shallow and simple-minded. So, someone with a lot of doubts will hardly befriend him or herself with someone who has his goals set. But on a subconscious level, everybody longs for that ease in life that Gon has. So when the worldly Kilua meets this pure person named Gon and they become friends, we see how Kilua is kind of healed by that relationship. In reality, it is more common that two Kiloas meet and not letting each other coming too close. But everybody has that need for closeness. So the friendship of the boys is like a salvation from the usual relationships of this world. Gon and Kiloas friendship is just hitting the nerve and sucks you in. 
So to sum up, Hunter Hunter gives you a variety of extremely positive feelings which bounds you to the protagonist and the story in general. They portray friendship in a very realistic way and are approaching the viewer's deep human needs. But that is not all that Hunter Hunter has to offer psychologically wise. If you want to find out what else the great anime is triggering, stay tuned and check out my next video. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and I am as always happy about all kinds of feedback. Um, I think my next video will be uploaded like in two or three weeks because I'm kind of busy right now. Um, my dog is making sounds. Dolly. Yeah, so I think two or three weeks around that and um, the next video will probably be the next part of the Hunter Hunter analysis and it will be focused on Hisoka. Okay, so enjoy your week!